Okay, so once again we have a uh, little customer project in here. Um, this one actually isn't paying much and it's a very sad car, but it's a job that needs to be done. What had happened is a long time ago, what you do, Phil, is you spin it back on the stud there a little ways. No. Just let me be. I'm testing the theory. That, that failed epically. Okay. No, it didn't. Oh, that worked. Cool. What had happened was, a girl I know, um, her boyfriend, or she broke up with her boyfriend, or however it worked, and he cut her brake line. So, we, uh, and he only cut the fronts, he cut the rubbers, and she didn't have the money for anything like the uh, rubber lines at the time. So, what we did, as it was kind of summerish out, was we took where the, he had cut the lines right here, and we pinched these brake lines off, so that she'd still have back brakes, just not front brakes. In the meantime, she did get her rubber lines and put them on. But uh, so what we're going to do is I've got some brake line here, and I'm going to splice this all together as long as I get the right size line, and hopefully I do. I think it's three sixteenths. If I don't, then I guess we have abandoned ship. But we'll find that out here shortly enough. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship. Boy, I don't know, Phil. Here, you get the mic. We can see if this is the right size. Now you see, I got this piece of brake line. What? I think it is. I think that's quarter. I don't think that's quarter. Here, I'll get the mic. You can do that crap. No, you just, all you do is, or not the mic, the calipers, excuse me. You know how you use a freaking caliper. Yeah, I know how to use your caliper. Likes, not so much. Like it, dudes. Find out pretty quickly if this is going to work or not. Ha ha ha. I was right. Yay. I don't want to hear it. Yay, me. Shut Yay, me. I don't care. Yay, me. I don't care. Yay, me. I was right. Yay, me. No one cares. Yay. Wait, I just want to be correct. Yay. 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 Shit. Shit. I freaking hate you guys. Yeah. I don't know about that other one. So what I've done is I bought a chunk of brake line and uh, I cut it in half. And we're going to splice it in like so by putting on the uh, that nut, followed by that ferrule, followed by this piece, just like so. Which we'll hold up against there and then we'll tighten it up. And it'll tighten up that ferrule. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll splice it in and uh, we should be good to go. We have to bleed the brakes then. If I'd have been dealing with somebody who actually had some money to spend, I would have just bought the regular the right style of lines, but since I'm not, that's why we're kind of doing this the way we're doing this. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to have front brakes, which in the ice can be very, very useful. What are you talking about? What's going on Uh, what, like slamming it into neutral every time you want to make a panic stop? Yeah. I think I'll pass. I drove it over here. It was not fun. Oh, come on. Your sense of adventure? My sense of adventure? I think I had left it in the Jeep at that particular moment in time. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one. Kind of like trying to drive my... Oh, oh, they work! Huh. Okay. There we go. So we got the bleeder plug right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack this with the hopes that uh, we'll actually get a gravity bleed going on 
which sometimes when you're lucky you can get a gravity bleed and then you don't have to mess so much with getting the air and all the nonsense out of there. You always want to check your bleeders, make sure that they're, uh, that they're open. This one's free. Holes clear there, holes clear there. And then I'll put it back in. And you don't even have to open up your bleeders a long ways. You don't have to take them all the way out. Well, unless they're plugged, you know, but should be able to just take them from tight and then back them off to loose. Just like so. And that's about all the more you should have to do when your bleeding breaks. So we'll see what that does for us. Okay, YouTube, you can see the uh, wet spot running right along that side of the caliper and uh, that's coming from the bleeder. And I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I uh, opened up the bleeder and then I walked away and let it go and sure enough we started getting a gravity bleed. So as far as I'm concerned that's the best way to get your air out is to do a gravity bleed. Down the shot being that it uh, takes a little bit more time. Up shot being you get more of the air out and um, you have to do far less bleeding and if you're by yourself then uh, makes it a lot easier too. So we got a good gravity bleed on it. We'll still go in it and uh, pump it and do a regular bleeding, regular style bleed, but we'll only probably have to do that once and I really doubt we'll get any air out. So Phil's just about done with his side. I just wanted to show you about that gravity bleed thing and uh, yeah, then we can send guinea pig Phil out for a test drive. Well, we got it all gravity blood out, other sides together. So now we're gonna go ahead and just do a little bleed on that other side, we did get a little bit of air out of it. We already bled one side. Uh, when your bleeding breaks, always bleed the side furthest from the master cylinder first. So that's why we bled the passenger side first, and now we're bleeding the driver's side. So here we go. Phil, go ahead and push the pedal down. Pressure it up. You see, we did get a little bit of air to the floor. Okay, pump it up. Yeah, see, and all it took was one one shot. We had all the air out because of that little gravity bleed stuff. But uh, so there we go. I'm gonna throw the tires back on and send send Guinea Pig Phil out on a test run, and uh, hopefully we'll be done with it. So here's the uh, cut brake hose that we found the last time that we worked on this thing. This is just rotting there, but this was. Definitely sliced, not a question about it. <clears throat> and this is one of the ones that we had to replace before we did the uh, passenger side. She'd replaced the driver's side, but never replaced the passenger side. And so, we got the tires on, we got the brakes bled, and Phil's just about ready to uh, take it for a test drive. See what he thinks of his mean beast. Well, Phil, how was it? Brakes are working great. Actually, the ABS works really well, too. Oh, the ABS does? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. I tested uh, I made sure to find an icy patch and hit the brakes and you can feel the vibration in your foot. Good, good. The brakes work great. They actually work well. It's really nice on this car. I've never built one before. Well, the air rides are all, all complete and working. But uh, it rides very, very nice. How's it running? It's running good. It ended up throwing a code. I, I don't know if it was the fact that the brakes were messed up, that it just wasn't accelerating right, if it, it had some drag, but it doesn't feel like the transmission slipped or anything. It actually feels really solid. 
once it's warmed up. Yeah. yeah. Was the heater kicking out heat? Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. That was that other thing I fixed where I, you remember I wired that heater up to the light switch. Yeah, I noticed that. I turned the headlights on and it kicked out. Climate control. Okay. So you think we got a job well done? Yes, I do. Good.